टाटा स्टील कलकता टोटी फाइव मैराथनर एम्बासाडर हिसाब से कलकत हाजिर अलिम्पिकर रूपजयी दुबारे विश्व चैम्पियन हार्डलार कलिन जैक्सन उन्नीसश अष्टर सियोल अलिम्पिक्स रूपजेतार पशापाशी उन्नीसश तिरानब्बे और उन्नीस सौ निानब्बे साले विश्व चैम्पियनशिप जेत कमनवेल्थ गेम्से जोड़ा सोनार मालिक विश्वमंचे मोट पचिस पदक अधिकारी ओएल एसर तारका एथलिट बृहस्पतिवार दुपुरे भिक्टोरिया मेमोरियले फटोश्यूटर पर आसन्न पैरिस अलिम्पिक्स के शुरू कर नीरज चोपड़ा के लिए खोला मेल में आलोचन मतलें तारका एथलिट टोकियो अलिम्पिक्स सोनाजयी जैभलिन थ्रोर एवारे कि स्वर्ण पदक जितबें आशादी जैक्सन की a journeyman international athlete finishing third fourth fifth in championships like some people not sitting too far from you but you were a great champion for years and years and years how did you manage that well one of the things let's be honest you can never go through a career as you just mentioned without getting injuries you know i think the key thing for me is being able to manage those injuries well so getting a good team of people around you that were also very wary of when you were getting tired or if you were getting a little bit fatigued or if you'd over race really went to rein you in so that was really important that i had a lot of people around who had those skills and i think they were very protective of me to make sure that i developed and then i maintained my position of being the world one of the world's best i heard this all the time now he's a very special man i mean his his coaching really started in uganda um and he coached uh, one of the best for me to hear about John Akibua and Marco was only 28 when he took John Aki to his Olympic gold medal in front of the hills and the world record because John Akibua was the first person to go under 48 seconds so he was a trailblazer and I was lucky enough that that particular man ended up in Wales a literally 40 minutes from my home and ended up being my coach so you know how sometimes fortune falls into your lap you know it was no effort from me all i literally had to do was just joyfully turn up for a track and and there was this experienced coach who would achieve so much and then once that relationship you have with a coach and they get to know you and they get to know your family a little better then you you, you get much closer why you should call Malcolm really like he's my second father because to be honest he spent more time with me than my father because of course I was training all the time so I was with my coach all the time uh, and it was just just a wonderful relationship that started from the age of 15 until I retired at 36 what an incredible building and it was busy there as well so it's great to see lots of activity happening So I am really looking forward to Sunday really to see what that brings the same energy what it's going to, what it's going to tell me okay, because you know I'm an as a sport director of Wings for Life World Run of course so I came over here with with, uh, with Wings for Life and and Red Bull to have a look around and it was just an incredible journey for me in 2018 and so I was a new daddy then uh, and that was just incredible so to come here to Kolkata uh, Kolkata is just like unbelievable first impressions i loved it i love the busyness i love the vibe each city has its own little energy you know and it, it, as it's not so right you travel the world you feel the energy from all over and so um to come here to feel the buzz was it was just just super cool i love it i love well, they, it they say you I've had my lottery numbers all come in already just in that circumstance there's no doubt about that So for me um yeah I feel I was really blessed that that happened to me and you know one of the messages I always take across and you know I work a lot with young people and I always say to them, it could it generally always could be you you know look around you look at people who've achieved that have achieved from the same environment as you don't be afraid to feel that this world is not yours you know you've got to take this world like you own it and if you own it you can create so much magic and if you've got the talent the god given talent 
you become trailblazer, you become the rule maker, and then all of a sudden the world can look very different to your young eyes. I, I always remind her, all the good things are down to me, all the bad things are there, right? <laughs> That's where it all comes from. So, um, no, I think I was always really, really lucky that they were enthusiastic about sport, but not pushy. You know, you know the difference when I say if, if parents are a little bit pushy in that sense. So they were always great fans of all sports. So I felt I kind of got um, ignited in, in sport, courtesy of them. And I'm going to take you all back on a, a little bit of a, a memory history here now, because I can remember watching the 1976 Olympic Games in uh, Montreal. And there was John Quarry sprinting, of course, from Jamaica, one of the favorites to take the gold medal in 100 meters. And my mom and dad both Jamaican, and they were in front of the TV screen, right, screaming. But you could feel the, the energy in the, in the room as they were watching this 100 meters. And the gun went, Don had an awful start, ended up taking the, the silver medal. And the disappointment on my parents' face was literally like he was their own. And I remember then thinking, wow. I would love to be able to do something to make them respond in a way, just as a similar way. I don't want it to be a negative one, but just to feel the energy, to know that it's happening. And as luck had it, you know, it was the same sport. Um, and apparently, of course I never knew, but apparently when I was racing, they were quite anxious and nervous, the same way they were with Don Quarry back in the day. I bet they were. Don Quarry went home to get this. <laughs> Yeah, no. I mean, when Nigel told us initially, because we were all trained together, so when he told us that he was going to move to rugby, every single person in the group was saying to him, don't do it. Just just don't do it. But he had a passion, he had a desire, and he had the will. And you know if you have a passion for anything, you have a mind focus for it, then that's where your attention is going to go. And so he lost his desire for athletics and was heading somewhere else. So rugby was the way he wanted to do. He played it at schoolboy level, at a high level. So yeah, that's where he wanted to return. And now he has to look after it in an administrative way, which is I think he'd rather be playing than not to deal with the administration of rugby at the moment, especially Welsh rugby. I bet he would. <laughs> I, I'm also opening up questions very shortly. I'm just... I know. <laughs> I'm not going to go that way for Wales. Um, no, I think I, I think individual sports is where I'm at. You know, my mentality kind of drives me to be an individual performer. I can work well within a team, so preparation with a team, et cetera, et cetera, is, is always great, but getting on the actual start line, I love the actual fact that it all relies on me. So if I do it today, it was, I've done it. I can't blame anybody else apart from myself, and I like that. As a nation in that sense, and they're proud of their own. So, you know, there was always going to be a little bit of a celebration, patting on the back, well done lads, you know, when you've, you've achieved. Um, the only time I wouldn't go into town, to be honest, if, if I had a disastrous race, because I was just too, way too embarrassed to, to meet, my, my, meet my general public, in that sense, so I definitely wouldn't have gone into town there. But, yeah, being back home in Wales, I think, is, is, always, is always, it's always great. But, you know, um, at home, kind of my sister is, is, has got fame in her own way as well, she's an actor, so I was always around people who were celebrated, and I think that kept me very grounded as well. So it wasn't something like, oh, there's Colin Jackson there. It'd be like, oh, there's Suzanne Packer. Oh, and there's Colin Jackson standing next to her. So it was, uh, it was, it was nice to have that 